everybody doing today is Kevin with Nighthawk Motors and today I'm gonna to be doing a full detail on my Honda Accord I have not even touched this car as far as cleaning it up well with the full detail I haven't waxed it um, interior was just basically um, vacuumed and wiped down but today I'm gonna to take the car really scrub it down use clay bar and um, polish the paint out with it depends I'll probably use a one step for this car because it's not that crazy of a car but for something nicer I'd use two-step polish um, <clears throat> and just basically go over the car and give it a nice coat of wax and also do the interior and of course the wheels um, but I'm gonna be showing you a couple little tips and tricks on how to detail your vehicle if you're new to it um, just basic stuff nothing too crazy like uh, we're just working with a basic car all right so as far as what I'm using to do the initial wash with the car I'm gonna use the two bucket method which if you're not aware um, the principle behind this is basically you have two buckets one's got soap in it one's got fresh water preferably you'd want something called a grit guard at the bottom which is basically a mesh that sits off the bottom and keeps all the dirt contained below so you don't touch it with your mitt and get more dirt on it but I think I'm gonna be fine I'm not gonna go nuts with this car um, this one I have uh, warm water and some Griot's Garage um, car wash in here, which is actually really good stuff. I'll link that in the description as well if you want to go out and check it out. Uh, yeah, so we're going to get started with this initial wash. Afterwards, um, we'll go ahead and start the actual polish job with a electric, I guess it's an orbital polisher. That's what you usually use because you don't have to worry about burning the paint. And it's simple and not too bad. So we'll get started with this thing. many times well this car has been washed for months so there's a lot of buildup of heavy dirt and small crevices so I'm trying to remove all that dirt and get it all swept out so I don't have any um, come out on me when I'm trying to wash the car with the hand mitt I want it to be as dirt free and as grit free as possible before I start wiping it down otherwise your mitt can actually take that grit and dig it into the paint and put a scratch in it so that's that's the uh, name of the game here is just make sure all your um, tools that you're gonna be working with are clean and that the surface is prepped correctly and it's clean so you don't end up wiping dirt into the paint and scratching it because that's how you make little micro scratches and large scratches and also another thing to be mindful of when you're using a hose or a um, power washer is you don't want to get too close to the paint with power washer if it's too strong this wand I have here is actually off a gas unit and I have electric power washer so it's actually um, pretty weak so I could pretty much dig this into the paint and it'll be fine as long as I don't touch it with the tip um, and also this uh, line you have here along with a garden hose don't let that hit your paint when you're trying to drag it around because it has a tendency to flip and flop just be very mindful of that because a little slip this has dirt on it slip scratch scratch your paint so 
just wanted to give you guys that little tip there because it's important, you know, especially if you have a really nice car that you're trying to keep clean. All right, so I'm going to continue washing this thing down, and then we're going to start with the uh, two-bucket method here. start a two bucket method so as I went over before basically you just want to grab your mitt here all right make sure you whisk it around in the water clean bucket test or not test but clean bucket here no no soap and then you take it and you dunk it into your soap bucket right. go over here and you want to start from the top the best way to do it. And then with a car that's as dirty as this one, you don't really want to go too long on it. You kind of want to flip it over and go at it with another side just so you can get that um, extra dirt off and not bury it into the paint. So and come back over here, go back to the clean bucket, make sure you get all the debris off. back in your soap bucket you're ready for another run Put you guys back on the stand over here and you guys can watch from the distance again while I speed it up. all scrubbed down, all the heavy dirt's off, loose dirt's off. Uh, we're going to want to do a clean on the paint. Uh, now you might be saying, what do you mean a clean on the paint? You just cleaned it. Actually, that was just a, like a loose cleaning. This will get all the heavy stuff off the car that accumulate on the paint and stick to it that normal washing doesn't get. This is called clay bar and it comes in kit form or you can get it in um, just little containers. But I like using this kit, the mother's kit, because this clay bar is very soft. And basically what the clay bar does is um, you use a lubricant, which is a quick detailer, on the paint. And then you rub the clay bar lightly on the paint. And that basically pulls off any uh, like stuck-on particulates and um, anything that's you know basically not supposed to be there. So that when you do go and polish it, you don't end up picking up those particulates inside the pad and scratching it into the surface of the paint. Um, and also, uh, it just makes it look better because you don't have as much junk on it that fades it out. So that's what I'm going to be doing next. I got to rearrange some stuff, change the battery out the camera, so we'll be right back. Okay, so changed out the battery. Should be good to go for another couple hours. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this paint, and I'll show you what I'm talking about as far as um, particulates that don't come off when you go and just regularly wash your car. It's things like this right here. You should be able to see that. You see that small bit of stain there? That's actually like um, either a dead bug or like some kind of stuff that falls off trees and just sticks to the paint. Um, real small little specks like that. They can build up on your paint and just make it look kind of dirty. And they build up enough, you know, old cars that are like 10 years old or so, that you actually get a really nasty looking haze. 
it just doesn't look very nice and it actually can give your paint an issue where um i just killed a bug no little bug a little bug but it, it can give your paint an issue where it kind of etches into it and just it's not desirable to leave on your car so if you care about your paint at all in your car you're definitely going to want to do this you know at least once a year uh, when I used to have a Mustang, I'd do it about twice a year and just, you know, lightly polish it because you don't want to take too much off when you're polishing either because you're essentially wearing down the paint and making it level again. Um, so, yeah, let's get started with this clay bar and I'll show you how to actually do it correctly. Okay. So this is the Mother's Detailing Kit. Um, it comes with a detailing rag, which is just microfiber cloth. This detailing spray. And also comes with two clay bars. I already unwrapped this one. Um, it's a fresh clay bar. And basically what you want to do with this, when you're going to use it, is stretch it out and, and knead it after you get some use out of it. And you can actually take a look at it right now. It's clean. It's very clean. But once you go ahead and start using it, this will start getting littered up with dirt and just start getting dirty and you'll be able to tell. So after it gets dirty enough, um, you don't want to leave it for too long. You can go ahead and stretch it back out and just fold it one more time and then that gets you a nice new surface of clay to work with. That's nothing really much to it. You basically just grab your quick detailer, hide that, you don't need that. Spray your surface down with the quick detailer. You start working it in. This helps remove all that junk off the surface. Yeah, it has a nice pepperminty smell too. This uh, they have a nice peppermint smell to this. Hopefully, it doesn't attract any bugs. You can see just from that small little bit I did there, there is dirt in here now, and that's just all the stuff from that small half of the hood. Keep in mind, on an older car, or near the back of a car, or near the tires, you're going to have a lot more substances. So, I mean, that's how I plan this it's later in the day. You don't want to use it when it's hot because you can melt the clay and it just doesn't work right. And you have to keep loading it up with detailer. It's not really effective. One side of the car done. I start on the next side. Back's done, front's done, hood's done. Uh, so I should get up to here, up to the end of that wheel, and then I gotta do the upper part, and I'll be done with the clay bar. And by that time, it's probably gonna be dark, so I'll have to pick this up tomorrow with the polishing and the interior detail and waxing. So this is day two. Uh, I just went and wiped down the whole car. I sprayed it off, wiped it down, dried it. So there shouldn't really be much debris on the car right now. I'm gonna start polishing it. So for that, I have a orbital polisher. I think this is a quarter cable. Quarter cable, orbital polisher. It's a random orbital. So it means this thing goes in all different, different directions and, and doesn't constantly sit there on the same spot so you don't burn the paint. Um, what does this pad have? I had this pad for a while. I can't really recognize it because I washed it, but it says Meguiar's Soft Buff, and I use this for like my coarse compound. Try to clean out the best I could. There's just some old wax or old uh, polishing compound in there. Should be fine. And then I'm going to be using this. Now you can't really recognize what this is, but it is an Adams polish. 
Um, probably, I've had this stuff around for a while. It's probably about eight years old now, eight, nine years old. The bottle split open, so I had to wrap it up. But it still works. Just had to put a little liquid in there to loosen it up. And it's basically just a, the, uh, it's not a fine polish. I have fine polish in there too. This is just the basic polish they give you. And it seems to do the trick pretty well. I want to say it's the best, but it, it's, it's, it's a nice overall uh, polish that doesn't take off too much paint. So we're going to start that. Um, basically, I want to take this, <coughs> put a couple dabs on here in some random spots, just like that. And I also want to grab... I also want to grab some quick detailer or some kind of liquid uh, lubricant so I can spray this down and just soften it up a bit. You don't want too much on there though, otherwise uh, it just doesn't work as well. So just give it a quick little coating and now we can take this and polish out the car. I'm going to go ahead and put this camera on a tripod and show you guys in the time lapse process and also give you some pointers at the beginning. Now before we start, it is a good idea to wear hearing prep protection when you're using this because it does get kind of loud and it's not worth having your uh, hearing uh, have trouble later on in the day just because you're using the polisher. So I usually listen to some music while I'm doing this but beginning we're going to start I'm just going to show you the basic process of using all the paint just to make sure you get a good uh, buff out and to make sure you get the scratches out correctly and it really depends how much you want to do and uh, with white cars you're not going to see scratches very much so I probably won't go nuts on it but if it's a black car like my old Mustang you'd sometimes have this uh, really go through a panel to make sure you get all the little scratches out and make it look, you know, get your desired look out of it. So it's just a good idea to keep in mind. Sometimes you can actually use a small flashlight, a little LED flashlight and shine it across the surface and see the swirl marks and decide how far you want to go with it. But keep in mind, the more polishing you do, the less clear coat you'll have in the end. First, you just want to swirl the stuff around to get it applied to the pad correctly. And then adjust your speed. I usually run about five with this stuff, four to five. And, and you just basically work this into a circular pattern all the way across the paint like that while it's on and just keep it up until you get your desired finish. got done polishing the car and cleaning the polish off with the uh, microfiber cloth like you saw. That was the fresh one from the detailing kit and you want to make sure you use a clean microfiber towel and you don't want to press too hard on it because the more you press the more likely it is to have a piece of dirt in there that you'll press into the paint and scratch it. So that's the name of the game when you're doing this. Just nice, easy, steady and don't put too much pressure on it because you can scratch it from having debris uh, contained within the cloth. Now. The next step is to wax the vehicle. Uh, you could have, if you really wanted to go crazy, you could have used a, another polish, a, uh, like a two-step polish po process, which the kit I have does come with, but I usually only do this on darker vehicles that are, are you know, not a daily driver, and you have something called Adamus Fine Machine Polish. I've used this a couple times. It does give it an extra little pop if you're looking for it, but that's not what I'm going for. I'm just looking for a nice shine, um, with some wax on it. And speaking of wax, we have different kinds of wax I'm gonna show you that I used over the years. All right, so we'll start with this one. This is just a carnival wax. Um, see, it says step three, you clean the paint, polish the paint, then wax it. Um, it's a good overall wax, easy to apply, fairly easy to remove. This one's um, pretty much the same thing, very similar. I think this is a little, a little higher version of that, but basically the same thing. I think this one's a little more easy to remove and lasts a little longer. This is what came with the kit. Um, it's processed a little different for applying. 
you basically leave it on the car for I believe it was an hour and then you remove it and then you have to come back out a day later with a special cloth and remove the rest because it dries and um, and what's it do it there's like a small chemical process it uses that's what they say but I think it just dries up and uh, gets hard and fills in any little areas that can hold debris uh, but this is pretty good but I've noticed this is better for cars like that don't get as much water on them and aren't going to be left outdoors so I'm not going to use that on my car next thing we have here is Mother's California Gold um, Brazilian Carnival Wax that's what you want to look for it's the best overall wax to use um, other than maybe some of that new stuff they have out the uh, paint protection coatings that that stuff really beads water um, I don't know of any specific names but I, I know what it is I can't remember what it, exactly what it's called I'll have to put like a little thing in the screen right here now to show you all right and then the next thing is um, just tech wax 2.0 from Meguiar's it's fairly similar to this but it's not a carnauba it's kind of like a synthetic wax which works well but I did notice this is a little harder to remove and usually that means it'll last longer but um, sometimes you don't want to work your shoulder too much and get a short sore shoulder so today I'm going to use this just because it's a good overall wax it provides good protection it's not too hard to apply and it lasts for a long time so that's what we're going to start doing here I'll show you guys how to uh, do a small area of it first like I've been doing and then we'll just have the time lapse video of me finishing the car and the video now this video is going to be done in a two part process uh, since this is going to take a long time I don't want to make it too long for everybody we're going to have exterior and interior uh, detailing video so two parts and then I'm going to have a small product placement slash product review of something I actually picked up the other day which is uh, chemical guys um, for, for the leather seats so this will go on there this is what you clean it with it says odor eliminating which helps for you know if you ever sweat in your seat or something and then this is just a quick detailer basically cleans restores and protects um, so essentially what I got this for is just so I could uh, when you get done removing oils and stuff out of the leather like this you can make sure the leather doesn't dry out over time and it keeps it nice and soft and from cracking that's the idea behind this so that will be in another video but for now we're going to just finish up this one show you guys the results okay just a little side note um, some of you who are detailing freaks and or detailing gurus might be wondering why I didn't use any blue painters tape on this car. Um, the plastic on this car isn't really too porous where it will pull in any wax and or um, polish into it. So I'm not too worried about it in this car. But for a car, say like my old Mustang, I normally would go around with blue painters tape on all the plastic parts and anything I didn't want to touch with the polisher and just tape it all off to make sure I don't get any um, polish or wax inside the pores of the plastic or even burn the plastic with the uh, polisher because that can happen. So just keep that in mind with your car. You just want to be vigilant and make sure um, you don't end up hitting plastics with the wax and polish because it can white it out. Now there are ways to remove that and I'll do that in a later video, but for now, um, just keep in mind that's something important to do and any kind of badging or anything that you don't want to touch with it as well. Chrome's fine to touch with the polisher, but other stuff, just bare plastic or um, maybe lightly finished plastic isn't worth doing so uh, that's it and, and headlights and taillights I usually clay bar and polish them just to keep them from hazing over time if you ever seen those old cars that have real hazy headlights that's because they normally didn't take care of them and they're getting pitted and just all kinds of debris stuck in them so yeah so we'll get on with this uh, this waxing portion of the video and I'll show you guys how I apply the wax and then we'll do the time lapse into the actual waxing and we'll finish up the video with that all right another thing to keep in mind i like doing this in sections on the car so i'll do trunk lid rear bumper um top front bumper front and then see how hard it is remove it and then i'll do the sides because what happens with this is you get little balls of wax really small like almost uh if you ever sanded wood before it looks like that just a little bit of like uh dust basically and that stuff will fall down and if you go from the bottom up you're going to be leaving a bunch of that stuff on the sides of the car. It's easy enough to remove, but you might as well um, save yourself the trouble and just start from the top down.
I know some of you are gonna hate me for this, but I'm using hot tire shine. And also just a word of advice to anybody out there that does use this stuff. If you get like a buildup of like grease on your wheel and tire, you can go out and buy a Meguiar's uh, wheel and tire cleaner and a brush and just spray it on there and you'll literally see that stuff melt off and it cleans it right up. So if you don't like the look of this after you get done using it, there's an easy out. You just buy a wheel and tire cleaner and scrub it down. look to it. Oh, look kind of, kind of bulge over here. Look at that. There's a bulge in my sidewall. I'm going to 15,000 miles on this car and it's got a bulge in the sidewall. That's good. Never buy Continental tires. They're pretty bad. does it for the exterior portion if you really wanted to go nuts with the exterior you could do inside the uh, inside the wheel wells go all the way around the car you could clean the glass you could put rain on the glass you could go over all the plastic trim with plastic coating um, but this is a daily driver I'm not gonna go absolutely nuts so hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time and also please like comment and subscribe if you are interested um, it greatly helped the channel thank you and bye